Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a video about fixing things without buying parts, just with stuff lying around. So I have this lawnmower that was given to me by uh, Neil from Post to Post. It was the goat's lawnmower and the safety mechanism. You hold down when you're, uh, when you're mowing, keep the engine going, it, it broke. Uh, let me show you. So the way that this works is, you know, like a typical lawnmower, you hold this down, it pulls this cable, it's broken off, and this here is the, the part that uh, there's a brake for the flywheel, if it's a flywheel, maybe it's a magneto, but that spring pulls forward and disconnects the thing to let the engine ignition know that you are at the wheel. Now. Okay, so this is actually what we're going to repair instead of replacing. Um, I'm saving about $50 after tax and shipping, Canadian dollars anyway. This lawnmower to replace in 2021 is about $350, maybe $400. So we're going we're gonna to get it going for free. Um, the deck is in poor condition, so I don't know how many more seasons I'll get out of it. But hey, repairing for free with stuff I have lying around... A lot better than paying $50 for a lawnmower. I'm not sure how much longer is going to run. All right, let's get on with it. This cable is supposed to go up into there. So I assume no, it was this portion. Whoa, where are you? This portion is supposed to have the cable in it. And it sneaks over to here. Probably at the time looked a little bit like this this is my half-ass fix. So before I get any further, uh, I have already lubricated the um, safety cable so it's not so sticky. I can move that with my fingers now, which is very important. So before I started doing anything, I wanted to make sure that the, the lawnmower worked. So this is the off position. I'm going to take this spring off hopefully without losing an eye. I'm going to do this last time. There, okay. So this needs to come Take it right off so I don't lose it. I'm going to start it. Okay, so when you pull the cord, it pulls it this way, releases the brake, and lets the ignition know that you are at I'm going to put that spring back on, wherever I put it, I'm going to put that spring back on and then um, see if we can't get uh, something rigged up on the handle to replace the broken part. So this is what I've come up with. I'm going to put this bolt through here. I've drilled this all the way out because it was the same as this. There's no hole on the other side, which is super strange, super cheap way of doing things, I guess. This only needs to stay here, so I'll put some Loctite on that. And to fix this portion, I'm going to use a little bit of shelf standard. And start from here go up to here and I'll drill a new hole in the shelf standard and hopefully I can just wire a, a pipe clamp it onto here maybe zip ties it at first so let's give that a shot so I've already kind of done a proof of concept which is this is gonna go on here like this and then I'll drill a hole up here somewhere for the cable to go in and then the uh, because it's a channel I should be able to put the, the existing bar in there and everything should hold together So to get a bolt in there, I'm going to have to cut this out here, I think, maybe flatten it or something. Maybe get wire ties up here.
I'm gonna get the wire tires up here. I need to flatten this out some too so we can get something around it. And this probably work, I think. Okay, so I've got this figured out now. I have everything set up here with uh, a bolt and nut, two washers, a washer, a bigger bolt, and then two more bolts. And then that gives this the right angle to sit in here like this. Where in here, the hole needs to be drilled. So I've already marked that. I'm gonna drill it now, and that should give us the right angle and the right amount of pull to turn off the switch. That's driller. Whew, here's one of my nuts. <laughs> Yes, sir. Look at that. Oh, we got a problem. That's too much here. This needs to be a little bit. All right, so we take one bolt out of there. See if that gives us a better. That's kind of perfect. Okay, so now what I think I'll do is cut this down a little bit, cut this down a little bit so I can kind of bang it into there. some pipe clamps. What the hell was that? Oh, holy shit. This is actually all the way through the bottom. I will go right inside. That's what that sound was. It was hitting the blade. Oh my god, that's crazy. Yikes. Terrifying, really. Oh, I didn't hit the cutting, no, I didn't hit the cutting side, I only hit the top of it. Okay, well, 
That's pretty easy to fix. Put the bolts in. No big deal. All right, that's it, finished. So this is the final setup. So I had to drill a second hole because when the handles were down too far into the mower deck, this, um, I ended up putting this in too short once I, once I did put it in right. If this goes goofy, which it looks like it might, eh, it's no big deal. I'll figure something else out. I got all kinds of options now that this handle has been fixed. Uh, yeah, that's it. So down here, it's just a couple of bolts in there. I'm pretty sure these were, pretty sure these were big knobs like this, but I don't know. That's that. It's a rusty deck. I think it was left outside. But anyway, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. All done. Complete. Finished. Finito. Thanks for watching. See you in another video.